Hi, I'm Luciano, and this is The Adventures of Lollipop Man. In today's episode, we have a really dense subject, which is weight painting. Uh, we're going to fix a few issues that we, we have encountered in our rig. And then we're also going to connect the eyes and the teeth to the rig. So bear with me, this ended up being quite longer than I expected it to be. But at the end of the video, I have a little surprise for you. So stick around for that. Remember to like and subscribe and let's get on it. So fixing weights. For this, we need to know a few things. First of all, in the armature panel, uh, you can see that there's this little uh, panel that has all of these layers. And these layers are what you're going to basically use here. So these rig layers are a representation of those. What we're going to do now is I'm going to just touch one of these ones. And this one is the one that has the deformation ball going to make sure that we can see those bones. So all of these bones are the ones that are currently deforming the geometry. No other bone in the entire rig deforms the geometry, which also can uh, mean that if you want to export for game engine, really this is the layer of bones that you need to export, none of the rest, and your, your rig will be super light. Then we have the second layer, which is the me mechanic bones, I think it is, or, or the mechanism, I think it is. These ones are the ones that mainly contain constraints and sometimes helpers. They're all only meant to drive the other ones. And we really need to not touch these ones at all. And finally, we have the orc bones, which I guess are the original bones, which should be basically the same bones that we had in the meta rig. Why are they kept here? Because I really don't know further than this. That's it. I'm done. Why is this important? It's because we need these bones so we can fix the weight. So let's fix the weighting on the foot. I'm just going to move this guy over here and you'll see why. We're going to turn on the foot layer on just one of them. And I'm going to grab the foot roll, which is this guy in the back. And then you can see that if I select this one, it rotates correctly. But when we pivot back, then the heel starts uh, squeezing back in. And so it's not letting it stay in the floor. So we're going to create a keyframe with I, the rotations. I can move this around and this is going to make my life much easier. So now I'm just going to hold on to only this bone and shift H so the rest of them hide away. Now that I have this, I can shift click my geometry and if shift clicking doesn't seem to work, you have to turn off lock object. Oops. And now shift click the armature and I can go into uh, weight paint. And as you can see, this bone doesn't have much of the influence there. And that's what we want to fix. So if you don't see these little black points, it's because for some reason in my blender, this is on by default. So definitely turn it off so you can follow. And then we'll see when we want to turn it on. So now we're going to change to our tools and to our brush. And we have to set up something important in the brush. There's two things. One of them is we want to go to options and turn on mirror. That way I just do it in this side and the other side will happen on its way. I do not know what this mirror means because I think it's a, another type of mirror, but we really want this one at least. And then we want to use auto normalize. And basically what auto normalize will do is that when I paint weights from that bone to this set of vertices, it will take away the influence that it might another bone have on. It. So if these vertices have a total of one of influence and you paint one towards this bone, any other bone that previously had influence will now have zero. Let's do this. Auto normalize, X mirror, and let's get cracking. So I'm just gonna paint here, and you're gonna see that now, as the foot rolls back, the influence that I just painted tends to keep the foot on the original shape. So we're gonna paint a little bit more. And now we got a foot that looks back again the original way. Then I screwed up. So I'm just going to control Z. Try not to screw up. 
I do it very often. So you want to see what this was for. You can turn this guy's button. And if we go into edit, I could actually grab one of these guys and control plus a couple of times and then go back to weight paints. And now this is a filter, so I cannot paint outside of those vertices, which is pretty good. So we can paint this guy. Uh, in fact, we could paint all of that, right? If we want to go crazy and plot it all, we just set weight with Shift K, which actually could work to do that. The only problem is that when you do this, I don't think it does it normalized. Let's try again. And we don't get options, so it's okay. And then we just go and smooth them out a little bit, smooth them out a little bit, and smooth them out. And that should be fine. And then now we just unhide all those bones, select our dude, and actually we need it, need it. Not we didn't need to select. And now you can see it's really pivoting where we put the, the pivot, right? The only problem now is that we put the pivot in the right place. Because the pivot should be uh, more or less something like here. And also I have to say that the, the way the foot is shaped, it's kind of wrong. So there's some compensations to do there. Well, let's see how it works in the other foot. So you see some of the weight painting that we did because we didn't do it entirely by hand, didn't work. And the mirroring function doesn't work. So I know there is a script by Bay Rate that uh, is online that you can acquire for free and that will do the proper mirroring. So we'll do this one by hand. Bam. Good stuff. We delete the keyframes. We don't need them anymore. We set this and we keep on going. So the other guy that had issues is head. Let's talk about the head. We want to grab all the hair and make all the hair completely influenced by the head bone. So let's do that first. We'll grab the entire head and go to edit mode, press L to select the entire hair. We'll press Alt A and unselect everything. Now we select this guy and we can just very easily go and look for the name of that bone. And the name of that bone is Death Spine 006. We're gonna open this spine and then just go down a little bit, 006, and we're going to assign all of the weights to that guy. If we go back and turn on our face rig, bam, face, we're going to turn off those guys here. Want the primary face at least. Yep. So we, if we select this guy, as you can see, when, when I assign all of the weights directly to a vertex group, the weights don't get normalized by default. And so, I'm gonna select the hair. I'm gonna shift click so I get one vertex, the active vertex. This will turn on the, the vertex weights panel in, under items. So now you can see, as I said before, the Death Spine 06 vertex group has one influence, so full influence. The problem is because it's not normalized, all of the other guys have influence as well. So if I normalize again, now if I press the normalize button, they all get distributed more or less percentually what they should have. But really, I don't want any of these guys to have it. So I just click X, 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 and then bring it back to one, and then copy it to every single one of the other ones. This vertex weights panel that I'm talking about um, only shows the influence of the several vertex groups to the one vertex. And now, if I move that bone, not that guy, you can see that the hair is not affected, just the forehead. Again, we just hide this guy, and then we'll do something very similar. We'll just grab that guy, control plus, 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 plus. Select all of the big part of the skull. Then we probably want to select these guys here. And we're gonna do the same. Just gonna full on def six, and then just get rid of the other ones. Then copy. Actually, I don't know if I, yeah, I should probably add that one more as well. So again, 
see all of these guys are on here that I had selected at zero. And then now they're not being affected, the ones over there, the ones over here, of course they are. Little by little, we're fixing this thing. We're gonna select this set of controllers here and we're gonna hide everything else. I'm gonna turn on a secondary face as well. So we get all of the sub controllers from the eyelids. Again, hide everybody else. Before we continue on, I'm gonna select the eye, which really bothers me that it's so blocky. So I'm just gonna turn off my simplify for a bit. And I'm going to go to just leave it. These guys are one subdivision. I'm gonna apply the subdivision. So we get this. And obviously we want to turn off the armatures in both of these guys so they're not affected. When I move this guy down, these guys here, they should be already doing a little curve. They should be like this. So this is the shape we actually want to achieve. This one, this guy should go there. This should be eyes closed. So we're gonna go into our character. I like to isolate where I'm working because it makes it easier to see and grab stuff. We're just gonna isolate ourselves until this point more or less, and then shift H. So let's see who's who here. So this guy with painting, again, as we did before, And now I can even just turn on this layer and I don't even need to touch the other controllers. Let's select this guy here, weight paint. And then we want to be able to select one of these guys. I'm gonna try start with this phone, which is lead top left, lead top left, one, two, three, and zero. Okay, number two, select my geometry, paint again. And you can see it has very little influence on these vertices. So I'm just gonna select that one and then paint it and then select that one there and paint it. And these ones are the closest one to that bone. That's that's the one, one reason I'm painting it with. So I'm just gonna select control click will help you select the bone. So shift click will help me select the vertex. vertex. Then again, bam, gotta paint this guy, both of them. Shift click. Control click here, make sure that these guys are a hundred. There you go. Shift click that guy, and then maybe with a little bit less, something like that. Same thing with this guy. We're gonna select those two vertices. Maybe we just a tiny bit more, very slowly adding to that influence. So again, I want to select that. When the vertices get too close to the bones, it's really hard to select them. There, a little bit influence there. So let's see how this starts working. As you can see, we start getting something that more or less looks like an eye closing, right? And so you need to start trying to figure out how it will work best for your character and for the design and, you know. So you try to also do it in a on a organic kind of gradient -y way. You're trying to to smooth it um, so that the all of those that's why you have all those loops so that they can spread out. So I'm just gonna do that one again a little bit as well. Yeah, it's not terrible. Let's see how it looks with our character. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad there. So. Those ones have too much influence compared to the rest of them. And for instance, this thing that we're seeing here, this like sharp edge, that's why also the subdivision goes afterwards. Because now look at it, look at it now and look at it before. So we get these two differences. And that one we couldn't control. So remember to put always the subdivision modifier after the armature. When you bind your character, just grab every single armature deformer or modifier and just put it on the top. So now we get a much, much nicer result. So yeah, this guy needs also some, some of that treatment.
and then we do the bottom as well see if we can keep it not so terrible again i'm not a professional rigger nor weight painter just giving you what i know so you can survive as i have So yeah, the guy is ugly, but it sort of works. So if I select all of these guys, and I think the weight did transfer this time. And we got a guy that can close this eyes. So now that we got the eyes more or less working, we get rid of that animation. And then now we can fix stuff in the mouth. We want those teeth to stay with the controllers, which are this one. Teeth T and teeth B, top and bottom. So we got one of these controllers for each of them. Luckily, our mouth is a separate shape, which is gonna make this process much easier. What I need to do right now to make this incredibly easy is I'm going to go to edit mode, I'm going to go X-ray, I'm gonna select the top, the top T, and I'm going to I'm gonna go to here to my weights, and I'm going to create a new group. And this group, I'm going to call it double click the group, def teeth dot teeth. And I'm going to assign all of the vertices of top teeth to that. And I'm going to do another one, call it def teeth dot b, right? And I'm going to do the same with these other dudes and select them. And they, there you go. Another thing that you can see is because this object is a separate object, but we weighted it against the entire armature, then it's it's got all of these uh, vertices vertex groups that we don't need. This set of geometry contains teeth and the tongue. So really all of the vertex groups we need to keep in this object are just the teeth and the tongue. So let's look for the tongue one. And there we go. We got the three ones corresponding to three deformation bones and we're gonna lock them. We're gonna go back to the teeth one. Teeth one. And then we're gonna lock. And now, I'm just going to press X and we're going to click this little down arrow and we're going to delete all the unlock groups. And now we only have those guys deforming. The one thing we're missing is that the teeth T and B def don't exist at all. So I think this was something that they changed and I have no idea how to how to tell them that this was wrong or what's the new supposed way to use it but what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my org bones the last the last of my layers i'm going to select those two teeth bones the original ones the org teeth ones and i'm gonna rename them and then the top one def again i'm gonna select them both I'm going to move them to my deformation layer. This is kind of like a hack. And now I'm going to go to the bone properties and click form on each one of them. And now you can see the teeth go and snap towards where they are. So I'll just reset the position of everybody. The bones go back to their place. Mouth now is opening. The teeth, they stay where they should stay and we get those controllers to move the lower and the upper teeth. Last thing we're going to do is the eyes. We get this, which is kind of fleshy, but the eyes don't move and it's super creepy, super, super creepy. So we're gonna just go into our org bones and select the eyes and select one of those bones, the one corresponding to the eye and parent it. Same with the other one, select the guy, select that guy there bone parented and then you can hide the deformation bones and you can see that the eyes are more or less doing what they should yeah and we're done with the weight painting for now i think i think i gave you enough information to survive the same way i have and i hope it, it proves useful let me know what you do in the comments if you have any questions i've been responding to all the questions in the previous videos as well, and hopefully i've been solving some issues too that people have been having which is uh, great which is the whole point of this final thoughts
yeah, that's it. Remember to go in the description. There's a link for the script from Bayrate and smash that like and subscribe button. And let's go to that surprise that I promised you at the beginning, which is uh, me animating a blink from this character on a time lapse. And if you really like this, maybe I could do a video about that and explain my approach to animating a blink. So yeah, see me next week. <laughs>